All right, so today Spyro and I went to Mr. Santana's, a small little restaurant, kind of a shop, you'll see, here in Minneapolis. And the reason that we went here is because of the legendary cheese curds. Spyro used to work there five years ago, and there was talk of these basically crack sprinkled cheese curds that had you so addicted that you couldn't stop eating them. So we came back today to review the food and uh, we went to eat it under the bridge and shoot the video for it. And we ran into somebody really interesting. So you're gonna see who that is. Yep. All right. Honestly, you're starting when you get home and have a computer. It's too much. Thank you. You're very welcome. All right. How was your first ride with me driving? You know, this is a smooth ride. The brakes are great. It drives fabulous. I mean, look at the tires on this thing. This is the top whoop, of the line. Whoop. You can't get better tires than that. Michelin's. P so it's a pretty nice vehicle. PS4s, um, man. I felt like I was being chauffeured around the city of Minneapolis. Okay, all right, all right, here we go. We are on Southeast, Southeast University. And uh, we're in Minneapolis right now. And we're actually gonna be doing a, a food review today. Woohoo! All right, we're doing a food review today. I worked here like five years ago. Okay. And um, what's the story behind this place? Well, I keep coming back for the curds like most people. What um, else do they have besides curds? Cause that's all you talked about. Uh, coffee, they have a whole little shop in there. Let's take a look. You've never been inside, but it's like, oh, I've never been here. Shop. We got the patio out front now. So um, yeah, it's uh, they've been here for a long time. It's sold a couple times since I actually worked here, but they keep the same recipes, actually. Oh. Yeah, see, it's a Hello. Shop. Okay. Hello. How are you? Good. So you worked here five years ago? Something like five years ago. Did you yeah. know the owner? Um, uh, the honor is Abbott and uh, uh, Jamal, yeah. What are you guys doing, TikTok? Uh, we're just doing a food review today. What's that? A food review. Oh, okay. I keep telling him about the curds. He used to work here five years ago and he says the cheese curds are amazing. Oh. You used to? Yeah. With the, was the old man? Yeah, with, uh, under uh, Abbott and Jamal, so a couple hours ago. Oh, okay. I see. You still have cheese curds? Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, we're going to do two, order the, two orders of those today. Order. Yeah, I'd please. I also love a euro, please. Thank you. Hang on. <laughs> so the seasoning is pretty damn good. It is, yeah. I believe it's the same seasoning. The what? I think it's the same seasoning they had too. Oh, okay. Cool. We got all kinds but of things. Yeah. Too. See, it's a whole little shop. Mm-hmm. They got the notorious amigos. When was the last time you've been here? Uh, almost a year ago now, actually. All right, so it's worth it then. Oh yeah. Yeah, I keep coming back. The crack's just a little bit out of your memory now. Yeah, <laughs> just, just a little bit, but not Your for tolerance long. is all the way down. Not for long. What's up, Ed? Yeah, how about then, uh, okay. You guys should try it when we have it available. Octopus, sir, right? Oh yeah? Octopus? We yeah, didn't have that. that work this is seasoning. We probably started in two weeks. Oh. That's yeah. really cool, actually. Yeah, we made it. Cheese, we make it with the uh, garlic sauce, uh, fries, lettuce, cucumber pickle. Awesome. Right. Two weeks, you're gonna start that? Uh, hopefully, if I find some, okay. you know, just because seasoning. Yeah, yeah. It comes from Spain. It comes from Spain, so you have to order it from yeah, there. Yeah, I, I like the Spain uh, products, uh, Mediterranean Sea. Yeah, right. Mediterranean. Uh, wait and patient and have no problem with that. That's awesome. I worked so like, it's a pretty nice community too then. Yeah, I like it. Good location. I worked till like 3 a.m. on the weekdays and 4 a.m. on the weekends. Appreciate you. Thank you. Have you a great day. Care. You too. Uh, okay, okay. Do you want to go under the bridge to eat this? Yes, I do, in fact. <laughs> All right, so we, we just uh, left Mr. Santana's. We're doing a, a food review today. We got a gyro, we got some cheese curds, and uh, we're gonna go back to where we filmed the video for uh, The Day Everything Changed, 
uh, that I just dropped actually uh, Sunday, and it's we're gonna eat some food. Yeah, it's also where I used to, uh, since I worked here, like uh, I got a free euro, and uh, I took that free euro, and uh, I often brought it down to uh, feed the homeless guy under the bridge. Oh. He's no longer there, and I, I, I hope he's okay, but uh, yeah. If we see somebody down there, we'll blast them with some food. There you go. Woodbury Fisk House. Whoa. That's pretty neat. Yeah, and you'd only know that by walking from Santana's to the Stone Arch Bridge. Oh, well, I guess I just lost faith in myself and figured, you know, what am I gonna say for the next five minutes and give me a second, but. <laughs> you know, it's all sorts of surprises. We're um, just gonna walk all the way there. But while I have your attention, we're gonna just take a second and say, like this video, comment, and please, please subscribe because you know what? That helps us out tremendously, more than you could, than you could ever know. Cut across to get more shade. Or longer. See what I mean though? It's not that bad of a walk. Hell no. It seems like a nice peaceful way to spend a lunch break. Well, in my case, getting off at four in the morning and wondering how I'm gonna wind down for the morning whatever <laughs> break time break time and down there is a train station so sometimes we walk over there and take some pictures of the trains and shit it's a really cool area see this yay fuzzies the cotton is still falling here <laughs> yeah and um that There's guy tree, right we just walked under the tree right there right so that homeless guy was talking about often use that uh gazebo down there uh-huh um, when he was waiting for us, um, but he used to sleep under the bridge. Wow. Yeah. So we walked over there, hand him the gyro, uh, kind of let him eat it as we talked to him. Like, and uh, when he finished, we'd walk him over to the, uh, um, well, down to his resting spot, hmm. and then wish him a good night. So. Hopefully he is well. Right? You know what would be really cool? A time lapse right here. Yep. Skip ahead with some music right here. Take out the audio. We made it down to the spot. We're underneath the Stone Arch Bridge in Minneapolis. And well, it's looked better, I would say. But it's still very pretty. There's some uh, geese over there in the water, just chilling, vibing out. There's a uh, scooter in the water. And we got our food from Mr. Santana's and we're about to crack that thing open and try it.
I would like some crack, please. Crack under the bridge, please. He even gets us with it. Whoa. All right. They definitely don't look like normal cheese curds. You know what I think? Mm. One bite, everyone knows the rules. This outer layer right here, mm -hmm. it tastes kind of like more cheddar-y, mm -hmm. more, more like goldfish <laughs> crackers mm -hmm. than a typical cheese curd would. It's like a tad more uh, cheddar -y. Yep, and the cheese itself is high quality. Cheese is coming straight from Wisconsin, the cheese capital of, well, at least the country. And he also said that when he gets his food, he gets it from Spain too. All right, I tried it without, <clears throat> without the sauce. Was it like a ranch or something? I don't remember, probably. Oh, mm-hmm, it's a ranch. How is it with the ranch? Good ranch. Right? Pretty solid cheese curd that you can get year-round, unlike the state fair. One bite. Pretty damn good cheese curds. <laughs> Alright, so Mr. Santana's, Minneapolis. They're a gyro. It's Mediterranean food. Yeah, fresh cut. Um, literally, you have to chop up lettuce and tomatoes. Again, I used to work there, so like I, I literally, um, we would do uh, the meat. We would cut every uh, about half an hour um, and then put it in the steamer to keep it nice and warm and fresh. Mm. Um, that's what he took it out of to make this. And then uh, the lettuce, we literally have to uh, chop up every couple hours. Uh, same with like the tomatoes and just all of our, our fresh shit. So mm -hmm. uh, it's just as fresh as they can, can make it. Um, all on a, a nice quality pita bread. Yeah, that looks great, man. Honestly, that sandwich looks insane. And it's like a full. <laughs> yeah, they're not, I mean, <clears throat> that's a good size cheese curd too. Yeah, I probably won't even eat all my curds. Yeah, I'm off. probably gonna have to cut mine and... Uh, they're good in a... You can actually heat them back up in a toaster oven. Like, don't use a microwave, that kind of ruins them. Mmm. But yeah. Mmm. So... How's your sandwich? Good. I'm not nearly as hungry as I thought. I forgot how filling this is, oh my god. <laughs> this is really filling. I'm gonna give Mr. Santana's for sure a thumbs up. Uh, that place had great customer service. They were really cool, really chill. Looks like you could get a lot of stuff there too, not just uh, some good Mediterranean food, but I think they had like some CBD and stuff there. Kind of like a one-stop shop, kind of a tobacco-esque, kind of a tobacco shop. Yep, a uh, tobacco shop, a uh, little convenience store with uh, fresh food. Mm-hmm. So. You guys sell bubbles. Huh? Do they sell bubbles? Nope. It's a tobacco shop. <laughs> um, I don't know if they do. Sometimes there's glass, gas, sometimes there's everything. Right. Is selling. Always. He's always the seller. <laughs> yep. Always has been. That's where my sales really start. Well, no, I started burglary at eight. Burglary? At eight? They put me in a children's home. Two older kids I ran away with showed me how to. They put me in a window and stopped me burning. You want some cheese curds? Huh? You want some cheese curds? Yeah. Come down here. I'm making a video though. Is that cool? Yeah. Huh? Cool. 
Are they gonna be okay with what I'm wearing? Cause... You gotta tell me a good story to go with what you're wearing though. Uh, yeah, 25 years in the penitentiary. That's it? Oh, here, help yourself, bro. Hi, I'm Guido. Guido? Yep. G-W-E-E-D-O. Justin. Me, weed's in my name. Cool. Oh, cool. Found that out years later. Nice hat. Thank you. Nice skull. I designed this, actually. This is a t-shirt yeah, that yeah. I designed. Yeah. I started a clothing company last year during COVID. You should... Who did you do tat on your hand? Yeah. Oh, my friend Gary Baxton. Gary Baxton. He uh, worked up at uh, Permanent Skin Art in <clears throat> Maplewood for like oh. a long, long time. 25 years. I can't fuck with Maplewood or Blaine. That's, I, I, I don't have anything wrong with anybody, you know? No, but, two, uh, the tattoo owner of them two shops. What do you think of these cheese curds, by the way? They're grubbing. Where Not is this bad. From? This is from Mr. Santana's just down the street. Yeah. Uh, if you go to the top of the bridge, you just kind of keep on. Well, I don't know. I, I think they're pretty reasonable priced, aren't they? I can look at that and know that's out of what I would pay. Well, help yourself, man. I'm not gonna eat these. So me personally, I got like a three triangles eye, not a pyramid. Three eyes. Reese's piece, peanut butter cup. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They suck in the summer, though. Yeah, a hot day like this, dude. It's fucking 90 degrees out and shit. But um, then I go with beef jerky. Hmm. Can you hold this for a second? And yeah. Milk, milk and donuts. Beef, beef and donuts. Beef jerky. Beef jerky is always a I can take it anywhere. I don't stop moving. Yeah. You want to go fast, so I'm, just... I'm up there. Uh, I got hundreds of bottles of liquor. You homeless? Yeah. No. How long you been homeless for? My whole life. So. Damn. I mean, they put me in an institution at eight. My be one of my good friends, dad's started. just passed away. He was homeless and uh, an addict, and he just passed away down by the river here. Uh, uh, just last. We're week. all addicts. To an extent, absolutely. My niece just did this with me the other day when I was over there. You got an addictive personality, no? We all do. Yeah. If you like something, everybody's you got get something it. different, though. You get to it. Coffee. Everybody has a vice. I have good coffee right now. Some yeah. people exercise too much and they pass out from dehydration. Yeah. Some people. What's yeah. a big football player name that died on the field? I know I did oh, yeah. that. I used to run that dam. The side of it. You used to I work there. Up and down that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and, and I played hockey and I ride bikes. I got my shit way up top. Where'd you go to high school? Edison. Where is that? Edison Thomas. Edison? Minneapolis right over here? Cool. Then they tried to integrate, they called it. Like the old 60s shit. Racist shit. What do you well, mean? If you live on this side of Northeast, now we're going to integrate you into North. And this side of North over to Edison. When was that, what you said? 85, 86. It was a fight. There was a problem for some reason. I, I didn't have no look like I'm a wiki. That's a nigga. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm north side or northeast. Yeah, that's probably the toughest. I ain't got a problem state. with North High, but I ain't going to North High. I'm a hockey player. Yeah. My A1 is hockey. Did you play hockey in high school? Mm -hmm. That's cool. I went to college. What's the, what position? Defense. Defense? Cool. I know when I was single digits. I was itty bitty. I was that guy that got picked up. Yeah. In three years, from 10 to 13, I went up to 5'10", I think it was. Yeah. Real above. And then stopped again. But 5'10", and started getting the musculature. And started getting toned down and stuff? I got a big mouth. Yeah. I fight a lot. <laughs> Fucked up hands, but... No. Well, if you if you if you if you're playing hockey and you don't like to fight, then you might be in the wrong sport. Well, when I was in Pee Wee's, my coach, <laughs> my coach was a big dude, big uh -huh. strong dude, masculine, closet bag. Anyway, um, <laughs> and he told me as I was growing, and I'm now I'll be, I'm picking on the bullies just for fun. Yeah, I got so much practice fighting. Mm -hmm. So just find a bully, pick on him. Did that, got bigger. He looked at me and said, what the fuck are they saying? Why is that hockey player playing that puck? I got scored on, it was bad. You know, one of <laughs> Wayne Gretzky motherfuckers, okay? Yeah. Got around me. He coached, looked at me, and he was so dead serious. You could hear it in him. And he said, fuck, <laughs> in a public arena. What the fuck is he doing up playing the puck? Look at you. <laughs> he should be on his ass. How does he play the puck if he's on his ass? 
and it was like an, an insanity. The way he said it was just so. Like, Dude, there's nothing like it. Minnesota hockey coaches, bro. And it was funny as fuck, but <laughs> it clicked. Yeah. Defenseman in fucking uh, football. Uh -huh. I played offensive line too at one point when I needed to. But yeah, <laughs> I learned a, a eight years old burglary, um, getting molested by a counselor. I learned real quick in my life, get you. That shit can turn you around, turn your life around real fast when you're a kid, you know? Some, any, any. I mean, I guess it affect me somewhat, but. I it had to it, have. I don't let it control me. I don't no, let, no, no, no. I mean, I don't no. masturbate through the last break. Cause I'm three years in the band. They didn't need to rape me. What'd you go to prison for? Um, not to be a smart ass, but which time? time? Huh? Which time? What's that? I mean, I started off with an unauthorized motor vehicle. That's uh, what I just got now. It's a possession of one. <laughs> oh, a stolen car? Okay, that was my first one. At 16, they asked me if I wanted to be certified as an adult. Mm-hmm. Look back. Did you? At 16, you thought you were grown, didn't you? Everyone does. Thank you. That's why they call public pretenders. My public defender should have never offered that. My public pretender should have said to the DA, um, listen, he's 16, he gets a joyride car from his foster home to Minneapolis. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's not like anything maniacal no, or anything. No, we're not going to put him in the workhouse with them chomos that are doing their little shortened sentences so they don't go to prison and get killed yeah. by people like me. If I could, I would kill him in a cell, barehanded, to the death bite. Uh, what's the one with Thunderdome? That's it. It's, if this happens, yeah, it's not. And everybody thinks it's going to be a race war. I'm sorry, it's going to be a race, class of race, class. It's going to be a class war. The rich, and I don't mean well off like these snobs. Yeah, because these snobs are wiped through. That stone arts where they built and these things and all this. Yeah, actually, this one ain't bad. This one's going to be super bad. <clears throat> I mean, this new area over here is going to be fucking crazy, dude. Some of this shit's so expensive that it's, like, Sucks. insane. I can't even imagine living in some, those apartments right there. Yeah. They're, like, $4,000 a month in rent. You know, that's going to be all I don't, going up. I don't even know where you can get a job you to pay for that. You can get one of the motherfucking... Mm, and there's going to be offices in it. Yeah. So there'll be secretaries. All that time. building is fucking probably a $100 million building right there. More, maybe. That's... Insane. Look at what we paid for that fucking uh, class thing. Oh, the fucking uh, stadium? Yeah. But I think it was a billion or something crazy. 1.1 1. 1 billion. <laughs> it was like a billion. What? Like, how did we hit why, a billion on this? Why am I paying so much for cigarettes? Well, I rarely pay for cigarettes, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. What you people throw away? Me I, people? I can tell you two both got a job. Well, yeah, kind of. This is our job right now. What? Right. Like, uh, he, we both kind of lost our jobs during COVID. And I really, uh... Um, so you get unemployment. I've never held a job more than a year, personally. Like, it's never been my place. Wow. So, he, this is my place. Yeah. Hey, this is where I work. I'm working right now. That's what I said. I got yeah, yeah, yeah. bottles of liquor. Johnny Walker. I mean, right. Don Julio. That fucking club. Yeah. yeah. That's why I got to run back up there. Check on it and shit? Mm -hmm. We'll go with you if you want. Actually, we gotta We're going to be going... Start. Huh? We gotta. We're gonna. We can walk up with you. We're, we're just. Really uh, get going anyway, so yeah, we're. we're walk with you. Yeah, we'll walk with you. I came down. See you guys sitting here. So I just yeah, man. Down, you see, dude. My bubble a couple times. Hey, listen, man. I've been around long enough and seen enough fucked up shit to know too. I grew Everyone's up got their own story. This whole path, you still see shit right here. In this cave, dude, watch me fucking a girl. Well, it started over here. She was so ditzy. She started trying to wash her panties she had just took off the fuck. While I was fucking her, I'm like, no. Hold up. I need to bang your head against a tree. <laughs> I don't know why they don't just fix this. They don't want people down here, I think. Yeah, they don't want to fix it. They got the money for it, though. I think it's much worse. I might come down here and just start fixing it myself. Yeah, for real. Maybe uh, we'll just yeah, come down here with some fucking hammers and I shit. I cherish this area. This is funny that you say that, because when I missed uh, the big one up here, oh my, I was either lighted up so I can see it at night too. Yeah. Or the day bad. Right. It's a big hole. Where do you usually stay at? Around here? 
But last night I slept right up there. Yeah. I didn't even have any mattress that I have now. You move around a lot though? Yeah. I was literally just talking about how like six years ago or so I worked up the road, right? He worked at that little fucking Mr. Santana's spot where we just got this. Um what? who did them uh calves? Uh that one was Gary Baxton. Gary Baxton's a bad motherfucker. Yeah he is. And then this one was, was done by Sam Sam Dunn. And he he's worked at a handful of different uh, places. Around. I'm already out of breath walking up those fucking stairs, man. Yep, it's crazy. You guys are old. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like, all right, hold up, watch. I'm good. <laughs> hey, all right, you young buck. Wait yeah, all right, go. fella. Snappers. You young fellow. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go check and make sure all the liquor you guys is still there. So, walking back up. Yeah. Make sure his shit's there. Guibo? You said Guid Guido? Guido? Guido. Guido? Guido Tash. Guido. Don't worry, I'm gonna write it down. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna write it on the picnic table, you'll be able to see it. Alright. I could actually walk around here and try to point out places where I wrote it. You know what you should invest in? Uh a car. camera, bro, because you could blow the fuck up and make a hundred thousand dollars on the internet, you know that? Okay, yeah. I'm um, People I, like to hear stories, man. I got chatterbait loaded on my shit. I just ain't did that either. I sell everything. Yeah, you can do everything on a phone these days. I, I have one. Actually, I have two iPods now, too. Is this all yours? Yeah, man. That's why I said it's all spread out and everything. And you're selling stuff? Yeah. She told you I have one. And it's sitting right up. Yeah, I, I'm selling. The main thing I want to sell is... Never, I'm not a drinker. You're not? I don't even know what this is. I just know this. Tequila? Because of the bottle it's in, it's valuable. <laughs> okay, so you got you got a little bit of sauce here. Um, well, I'm getting. How do you carry all this stuff and move it all around? Uh, that's the problem. This is like why this? I've been stuck here. I built this now that I found this, but I even want to brace it more because. Go ahead and try to pull on it. But if you do, it's going to make it heavier, huh? Pull on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's heavy as fuck. I didn't know it was quite that heavy. But it's going to be propped up. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. It's going to be propped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rack. That's pretty dumb. It's all right. shit out and I do that kind of shit all the time. Twacking, I call it. $10 Has anybody been bottle, though? I mean, come on, that's got to sell. Shh, I know it well around here. Believe it or not, yeah, him so and I are like so barely hanging on ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I like that shirt, though. That shirt? Thank you. That would make a great tattoo. That's like one. That's like one of those shirts he always wears. In color. This yeah. is one of his favorites. It's, it's kind of like I have real, a tattoo, except it's clothes. My slave name is Leonard. It's supposed to mean lion, but I don't like male lions. They bitches. They make them women go hunt for them and everything. Man, fuck no, Damn. you bitch. You ain't getting my fun. I'm going <laughs> hunting. Fuck you. Has anybody been bothering you about staying here? Not yet. You're Good. just waiting. That's a uh, uh, chiller area, especially with COVID going on. I mean. We have already had, you know, a lot of homelessness over here anyway. The cops talk, I, I was living right down there though. I was living on the other side, 35 and but Yeah. Then we were digging another one and they kicked us out of there and said, not this year or whatever. That's fine, not this year. I don't even... Like, not whatever. this year, they said? Uh, yeah. Well, like Loring Park last yeah. year, they invaded. I mean, a little iron, five bucks. You should set out a little. Minute. Why don't? I, is this a Lego clock? Oh, oh no, it's God. not a clock. Look. but it's something. The train. Oh, it's Lego a train. Trains. Listen, oh, it has like this little. I thing ain't had it. no biologicals. I'm 50, but I've raised a lot of kids, and I know that's valuable. It's just like this fucking leather case. <sighs> that's good shit there too, bro. That leather case is high value. I took it just so I could steal it. Do you have a phone? Uh, yeah. I use Messenger mostly though. Because what yeah. you could do is you could just sell this shit on like Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, I can't do it on my own. 
that makes any sense at all, people in the public world. Did I mention 32 felonies? 32 felonies? Yeah, I'm scared to go back, man. It might be the last. Is this time. your nickname or is this your. Uh... This is my. I don't even call it a nickname. This is the name I've been since, what, 13? Okay. You, if you call but this me. This is not your government name, I'm asking. Hell no, it ain't my slave name. My slave name is Leonard. Leonard. Yeah, never heard of him. I heard of Weedo, though. You heard of Weedo or Guido? Well, let's find out here. Well, I'm spelling it my way, but Guido. it's G U I D O in Italian. Uh -huh. And I am 100% German. 100% German? 100% both parents. My dad uh -huh. actually came from Yugoslavia before uh, my uh, true nationalist people decided to run through that country hmm. to get to take over Europe. <laughs> Talking about Hitler, you know, a smart, genius man that could fool so many people, kind of like Charles Manson is a very highly intelligent person. Did some dumb shit. Hi, Hi I'm you. Guido. I'm a highly intelligent pe person. I've done some dumb shit. My Keep dad, my dad, who was a worker, went to the military here, fought Korea, all that, looked at me one day, and he, Your dad? Was, he was dead serious. He died in 92. He looked at me and said, why can't you just get a fucking job? Which is that easy. And I said, yeah, well, because you, you took child protection's advice at uh, seven and a half years old, and you sent me to Northwich Children's Home. At which point, a rather largely endowed fucking individual that was a counselor who had his dumbass fetish for itty bitty kids was right there to greet me and be my counselor but I as I said I don't look badly on it because I actually take it as a learning experience taught me a lot by 10 years old I knew enough to go to my older brother who's 7 years older Lee Hewen and he's been around bikers all that Hmm. I told him what happened and he would tell I swore him that he can't tell nobody, you know, brother secret. Which, believe it or not, if he told he still wouldn't have been in the wrong, in my opinion. Yeah. My but he was respecting opinion. you? Huh? He was respecting you? Well, there's some things that are tellable. Yeah. I'm sorry. I tell my stepkids this. Some things you tell on. I'm sorry. Yep. They could say that snitching and all that, whatever. Yeah, there's they some want, things you gotta tell on. Just like the same people that were saying this man, the police, po all cops are bad. I was in the Hennepin County government. I've been in prison eight times. Everything to murder. A person's a person. It's not the cop that's the problem. It's the person that's behind the badge. Well, the cop that came and kicked me out over there when I was scraping the silver. Them fuckers called the cops because I'm scraping my silver. And it's like... Oh, for real? dropping it. It's out somewhere nearby here. And I was dropping it to hear it. To see if it's plated or, you know. Yeah. And scratching it on concrete. They called in and said I was damaging their property. Like, these guys, these are locked. Bro. They're just looking for reasons to get rid of you, honestly. These are unlockable. Yeah. No. With just passcodes? Did you steal iPad. all this shit? Huh? You steal most of this? I didn't steal none. It's all from a dumpster. All from a dumpster? Man, most of, like, the bed and all that. I'm just asking because you said you robbed. This was from a dumpster just now. At first, I That's was, crazy that people throw this shit away. At first, I went looking for a bracing for this because I had all these liquor bottles That's on. actually a really dope little piece. Yeah, it yeah, works good. Lightweight shit. It's not broke though. Not yet. Yeah, not it would have broke when I uh, tried to haul. This, dude, this is like more liquor than most housewives have. More liquor stores. Those <laughs> liquor stores don't have as much as. I mean, I got the good one. Celebrate. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't drink. You don't drink, bro. I don't drink. I, I drank uh, two of these the other day. Though. Yeah, a little oh, celebration. One behind a bottle. I, I used that fucking wood thing as a pillow, as a matter of fact. Oh, for real? Look at me funny, you know, but Phillips. Hmm. You're kind of like a target out here in a way, man. Yeah. Like um, you're somebody that's trying, people trying to rob at this point. Oh, I wish they would. <laughs> they mean my buddies, man. Y'all don't see my buddies, man. My buddies. Are nah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're. I'm not even talking about the real live human ones. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm about I know. Old Smith you gotta stay safe. Oh, Mr. Wesson sold out of the business. Yeah. That's right. It was, it was really Smith, and Smith and Wesson, if you know the history. But I mean, of the gun manufacturers. Yeah. Forty well, caliber. It's the only gun I need. Mm. Now, if I was going to kill somebody, do a hit, I'd take like a 380. Yeah. 380, 380, seven shots. If you can't kill somebody, you're going to You can die like easily with a nine millimeter, to be honest with you, man. It ain't, well, yeah, but it's I that's mean, that's above my sonic level. That's a hearing thing. Oh. 
What's wrong with your hearing? You, no, it's what I want to not hear. I don't want it echoing oh, as yeah. far as I the see. nine echoes. It goes supersonic. Okay. Takes a little while though. It's, I mean, close work, I could do it, but at 40, I can hit that fuck. <laughs> I would aim for that drain pipe that's coming out of the building right there. I could aim this far with that. Oh, there it is. And rise up, just a little pat, and I could actually get, I mean, we were, we were trained tent home. And I told you about my conviction at 16. I've never legally held a firearm. But wow. you look me up on Facebook at Guido Tats. There's the spelling of it. At, at Guido Tats? Is that your plug? Yeah, that's my that's my Facebook. All right, look, we're plugging him right now. If anybody's watching this, go to Facebook and search Guido Tats. Guido Tats. I'll put it on screen too. E D O. All right. Yeah. Got to have weed because at 13, I <laughs> weed yeah. on Central Avenue, and I we were gangster in them businesses even for their little fucking cash boxes and, and everything and back then bro that was a way bigger deal than it is now oh, you used to get in trouble for that nowadays no one gives a fuck uh they give what we were doing they get we called ourselves northeast business posse but i was sub affiliated i was over north hanging out with black gangster disciple bogus boys i was here in murder atlas i had a 40 cal a nine so i yeah i like a nine and i had a 380 then were my three guns. And I the ammo is, and the ammo is cheap too. And well, everything's cheap to me. Well, I trade drugs. <laughs> Guido. Or, or I find. Um, find. I find things. Yeah, yeah. Who, who I respect it. Hey. Who doesn't find a dumpster full of alcohol once in a while? I'm grateful that we found you today. You and know I'm what? I'm quitting on July 1st, so I take that as okay. whatever you title it. Higher power. You could say God. You could say devil. You could say Guido. Because I'm my <laughs> God. Guido. I'm blessed by karma though. Yeah. Cause karma's telling me, yeah, yeah. On the first, do do it. You told your family now, you don't want family, I got my niece. Yep. It's the only person that really matters. I told another friend that's been my best friend out yep. here, who's wondering why the fuck I ain't made it there. I have to go message him. I gotta go get Wi Fi though. But right. oh, we gotta get to the store too. Yeah, we're working. What but, store are you guys going? Uh we're going to a Halloween store to see if we can find some masks for a music video that we're gonna shoot. You guys are musicians? Yeah. Good. Plug, We're all tats. artists. You, how you, come you, uh, you ain't got tats at all, do you? No. Holy fuck! Color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got tats. Yeah, I can't steal you though. No. Yeah, but you paid. Yeah. You paid. I can tell you that. Yeah. Cause you but, can look at my fucking tattoo thing on. This it. is Gary Bax, and he's my homie though. That's the difference. You you paid the homie price. I, I did. I paid I the homie price. So. You should have seen my nephew when I came out in 2010. But you know what? I like your 12. tats, man. Honestly, I want to come back and do a video. This, hey, this right here though. I want to come back. Don't say anything because I want to come back and I want to do a video and I want you to talk about all your tattoos. Well, then I'm gonna take all my clothes off because I got a <laughs> butterfly on my butt. All right, we'll get to that. We'll figure and it all out. Prison. We'll come back but, this week though. Yeah. Um, you think yeah. you would be here or no? You can message me. Like I said, hit okay. me up on okay. Messenger and then send me your number. I have a text now number, but okay. it's only when I'm in Wi Fi. Right? I might make enough to go ahead, and, and I'm smart enough knowing to been doing treatment before that. I'm probably going to take part of this loot. That's, I think, almost $200 a bottle. At $10 a bottle, that's how Easily. Much. Um, and some of them are worth more than that. Grey Goose is worth more than ten. Absolutely, this I is a forty. A this is at least a thirty dollar bottle, brand new. I can get a dub for that. Or yeah. Or I can just get some people drunk and then fucking flirt with them and drive them nuts and tell them, yeah, I just have sex with myself and watch porn because it's better than fighting with you people. <laughs> and I can't say women. I used to say well, I hate women. All they want to do is fight, but it's not that. It's relationship. If you're in a full blown relationship, where you're each other's or whatever. Even open relationships don't work. You, you got then you're just single. You're just one of mine. Mm -hmm. And some people can't handle that. I got tricks that they, I got a guy that I shower shave, do all that shit at his house. That's all he's paying, but he's still paying something. Hmm. Providing me something is a service. It's a service. Yeah. My my wife used to say when I said she's a prostitute, she drives by him. Or a bus. Oh man, I want to get into your stories. Mystic. I want to cut this and I want to hear all your stories, to be honest. I really do. I'm here a lot. Guido on Facebook. All right. G W E E D O Tats on Facebook. One more time here. I wish that we had more time to chill with you, bro. I'm honestly so grateful that we met. I'm thank you for talking with us, man. Yeah. Uh, we will definitely oh, no, thank you for talking because like I said, when I went away, I came back in 2010, Minnesota ain't Minnesota nights. Nice. I'm a pothead. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I smoke pot. So guess what? I smoke meth too. Guess what? I offer it to people and they look at me like, 
No, I wouldn't hit it. Well, okay, I'm offering, but now if you're a 19 year old college kid. You she, make art? She, I, yeah, I tattoo. I okay. I want to see it. I want to be able to put it up there and help it, you get out there. Look me up on Facebook. Yeah, we're going to get it, okay? And you'll see some of the pictures that I've actually tagged and moved over come yeah. from my real government. Okay. This is not, this is just that mob movie thing. And I, first of all, like GD in my name. Is that from your affiliation? Gangster Disciple. Oh. Bogus boy. Thank you for not saying uh, gang. Yeah. Because guess what? It's not, a, it, well, it, well, I grew up it around. It was not a gang. I grew up around Serenio 13s and BFLs on the west side of St. Paul. Serenio did that. Really? Nortenio did my Don't, don't tell us you, these yet. I'm coming back this Are you going to be here this week? Yeah. All right. We'll message you. Guido. In and around or otherwise I'm just across the river. Guido Tats. And I'm trying to get this shit to U.S. Bank because at U.S. Bank, I guarantee you I'm going to sit there and sell liquor bottles and get I'm going to move half of that in heartbeat. Stay safe, brother. That's a green. That's Stay safe, okay? Yeah, thank you. We'll message you. All right. Whoa. Crazy. All right, so the plan worked. We went to Mr. Santana's. We got our cheese curds. Then we went to eat them under the bridge. Yeah, and then we found this guy. And we met Guido. And we will definitely be including him in with this uh, video today. Uh, so. And it's symbolic too. I mean, I literally was talking about how I walked down here and feed the homeless guy from like six years ago. And we walked down here and fed the homeless guy from today. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yep. Dude, we're manifesting things like everywhere we go right now. It's actually crazy. He came up to us. He started talking to us. Like, I didn't initiate that. We did not talk to him first. Well, he started maybe talking I did. To us. Maybe I did by literally talking about how, like, I, re I remember and had joy of feeding this guy. <laughs> so. Yeah, and you know what's really, dude, this is so important to me because one of my friend's dads just passed away. One of my good friend's dads just passed away. He was an addict. He was living down by the river. He was homeless. And I was just thinking about him the whole time that we were down here talking to Guido, man. And I'm like, dude, I just hope this guy stays safe. He was talking about his niece. He was talking about how he's got somebody that he cares about, somebody he loves, so. And I loves him. <sighs> uh, I really do want to come back and try to shoot another video with him and see if we can get him going. You know, I'm like, who knows? Maybe he can find some sort of inspiration out of what we do with him and we can inspire him to like really pursue art and stuff more. Cause he's, talk he's talking about tattooing and stuff, so. Yep. I don't know. I guess we'll just see what happens. And art is always a healthy way to go. Art is the best way to go. There's no better therapy. None in the world. No better medicine to me than art. All right. All right, guys. I really appreciate everybody for, for uh, tuning in today, for watching. Um, we're Holy gonna be covers. we're gonna be heading towards the uh, the Halloween store now. So uh, we'll check back soon.